What are we worried about? We're worried about embolization of the artery that supplies the spinal cord, the large artery that usually is between T9 and L2, but sometimes can arise from the lumbar and even the sacral area. So near our nerve roots that we're injecting, we have to worry about that. And in the cervical area about injecting the vertebral artery. And unfortunately, this is a patient who had a fluoroscopic guided uh, injection, came in with a little neck pain, uh, not here, by the way, and has a very large uh, stroke in the posterior fossa from a vertebral artery embolization. Probably used material with particulate matter, got into the vertebral artery, and embolized the vertebral artery. So here's the vertebral artery, and here's the nerve that's going to be injected, and you can see it's only a couple millimeters away. Here's another example of a CTA showing you the artery of a Damkowitz coming in, in this case below L1, coming up and forming this characteristic loop. And our injection is going to be right around this area. So we want to stay lateral and we want to also be very, very cautious about injecting patients in this upper lumbar, lower thoracic level. This is where we would not use particulate matter. We would be very careful about it because this is a patient who suffered a stroke, not here again, in the lower spinal cord from injecting the artery of Damkowitz uh, or embolizing that structure.